what we have here is a square shutter uh, modeled in Vasari and it has a little controller over here to open and close the aperture. You can slide this guy along the line and you can see our triangles stay the same size and they slide against each other or apparently slide against each other to make this opening and closing aperture shape. There's some hidden geometry here which I'll just turn on to show you. And basically each one of these triangles is hosted in two places, one, two, along an arc and an arc. And each one of those points is controlled by a parameter that says where it is on that line. And it's the same thing as this. So when I move this point, everything moves with it. And these points are always at equal distances. And I think we can make this in about five to ten minutes. So let's give it a shot and see how it goes. It's always a little tricky getting some of the orientations right. So I'm going to go new family mass and I'm going to be making my I'm going to be making my rig first. And to make a square shutter rig you need to essentially uh, you need to first make a circle, about yay big, and then there's a series of arcs. And this is just sort of a, a geometric exercise in some ways. Um, and sort of the same in any platform. So you're going to make arcs coming out from the middle that are rotated 90 degrees from each other. That's basically my rig, and now I need to get my points hosted on these lines that all move together, and I'm just going to host those points, select them all, and give them all the same parameter. It's going to be called uh, host point, and it can be a type or an instance, doesn't really matter for this exercise. And you can see all that does is it just makes it so that each one of these points will move with each other. And I can add a controller, but we don't really need to do it to show how this works. So now I need my triangle. And for that, I'm going to get uh, our handy-dandy adaptive component. And it's going to be a two-point family. So I'm going to get my reference line because I'm going to need to make some geometry between the two points. And I'm going to go one, two select my points, make them adaptive, and just so we can sort of see what it's doing. Now I'm going to put my triangle on this line. Now it's kind of a little bit of a crapshoot every time you do this about which orientation you're going to do this on the line. I'm going to try it this way and I think it's going to work. I'm going to do a model line <clears throat> and I want to make a closed surface, a uh, surface from the closed loops just because I want to have, you know, one big chunk of triangle. I'm going to turn off 3D snapping. I'm going to set my work plane, and I'm going to try this on the vertical work plane. Again, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes which one is going to end up being the right one. And I'm going to go up. At I need to make a 90 degree triangle here, so I'm just looking around for my 90. There's my 90 degree angle. And it should snap to 45 as well. And just closing it off. <clears throat> now the other thing that I need to do here is I need to lock certain orientations here so that this thing doesn't slide around. So I'm going to lock, uh, I'm going to align from the end of this line. And you can see there's sort of a perpendicular work plane there. And I'm going to lock that. And I'm going to give myself a dimension to this point so that this stays put also, which is going to be from that work plane to that point. And I'm going to lock that as well. And what that means is just as I move this guy around, my triangle is going to stay put and it's not going to change its dimensions. So I'm going to load this back into my family that I just made. And see, I have my little triangle on my tooltip here. 
And let's see if this is pointed in the right direction. Oh, there we go. So I've got my first point laid down, my first triangle laid down, second, third, fourth. And if I grab my points, I can slide them around, and voila, we have a working square shutter. And then, of course, you can add your controller if you want to. Doing a model line, uh, just out here. And I'm going to add a point to it, like that. And I'm going to parameterize that point, same as the other guys, which is going to be host point. So now I can select that guy and slide him around to open and close my shutter.